What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm bringing you guys an episode of Call of Duty Ghosts Jumps and Spots. Now in this video we're going to be taking a look at the map Siege, which I feel like I really don't play that often. I feel like I rarely see it in the rotation and when I do see it, people rarely vote on it. But regardless, I've got a couple of good spots to show you guys on this map, so if you ever do get it, you can have a good time and, and outplay the enemies. So anyway, starting off with some basic ones, this building back here is kind of a main spawn point. There's a lot of the map back behind the building actually that's pretty much uh, unplayed. Like I never really see anybody playing back there. But this building here is pretty high traffic. Oftentimes you can find enemies up there if they're spawning back behind it. So there's a couple of ways to get up into it. One is over here. You can hop onto this side little kind of staircase thing that's broken off. So that's really, really good. A lot of people don't expect you to do that. And then another one is inside the building. So if you find your way inside, you know, flank around, you can actually hop up like this, hop up on these pipes, shoot the enemies that may be up here, and then boom, you have control of it. So that's pretty useful. You know, it's better than just taking normal stairs, which most people will expect you to do. Now, uh, moving on over here to the left side of the map, you can kind of go around the outside of this building here, which is pretty useful if you're spawning back there and the enemies are kind of trapping you in. If you want to come back here, this is pretty good. It's also a good defending spot for search and destroy. There's a bomb down here, so, so you can kind of defend the bomb from there. Another good spot to defend it is right here. You can use this little half wall as, as cover. Now in here, there's two jump spots. This one's pretty obvious. There's a bunch of little like crates all around this map that you can hop up into to get to second stories. And I'm not going to show you guys all those because those are obviously very obvious. So that's one right there. And the other one that you want to use is this overturned H looking thing. Uh, that's pretty useful. Now, moving on over here, this little walkway is very, very useful. It kind of allows you to move from the second story of this middle building over into, I don't even know what you would call this building over here. I don't have a call out for it, but you can kind of jump all over the place on this thing and use it to, uh, to kind of, you know, flank around enemies and get away from enemies. One really useful thing about this thing, the most useful thing about it is you can actually get up to it from these barrels right here. So you can just hop up like this and then hop up and boom, you can get into the second story of that or this very quickly from this spot, which is really useful, especially in like domination. There's B-Dom right there. So you can just hop up like this and, and boom. You're on BDOM. You can take pair of people on BDOM from where they won't expect you, so that's pretty good. Uh, one other good spot for for this area right here is this right here. You can actually come up here and watch as people come to that second story window and through this doorway. That's good for like S and D, search and rescue. If you're capturing BDOM, you can capture it, and then a lot of people will come running around the corner, so you can sit here and take them out as they do. So so that can be uh, pretty useful. Now moving on over here, kind of towards the middle of the map, uh, again, there's a really obvious crate spot you can hop up into to get to the second story of this building. Uh, this over here, not as many people know about this. Rather than coming up like this over the stairs where people can kind of like watch you and it's a lot easier for them to see you, what you can do is just hop up onto this little broken piece of the floor and this actually kind of gives you some cover in itself. You can kind of use this as cover and take people out as you push into this building. So that's pretty useful. Now moving on. Let's go back over here by the bridge. Uh, if you guys want to get up to the second story of this bridge, you can hop up right here, hop up, come over here, and then boom, you can just jump like that. That's really useful. Another way to get up from the other side is down here. One thing you can do is you can jump to this little area right here, and sometimes you can hit it, but it's actually really hard to hit. What I like to do is I'll come here. This is a good spot if you want to watch this area, if anybody's going to be coming through here, but then you can just hop onto this, and then hop like that, and boom, you're up to the second story very quickly. So uh, make sure you guys put that one to use. Now, uh, moving back here, this building is kind of like the building on the opposite side of the map that I showed you guys before, way over on that other side. It's kind of high traffic. Oftentimes, you can find enemies up in here. Uh, there is one ladder to get up, and then there's also some stairs in this building. I think there might be some stairs in here. I'm not sure. But uh, some kind of different ways to get up where people won't expect you is one, to climb onto this half wall. You can climb up to this fence here, and boom, you're up. So a lot of people won't expect that. Then also, this right here, you can actually jump on this awning. It doesn't look like it. You kind of have to hit it right. Sometimes you can't hit it. But if you hit it right, you jump at the right point, which I just failed to do. Jump at the right point, boom. You can get you up right like that, and that's really useful. You know, a lot of people will be hanging out in here, and they won't expect you to come from there. Then you can come up, kill these third-story sniping campers, and, and take those guys out. That's pretty good. Now, finally, the last thing I've got for you guys on this map is probably my most used thing. And it's very, very, very good. So uh, make sure you guys don't camp here. You know, I'm not promoting camp. By the way, you can jump over this half wall right here if you guys don't know. But make sure you don't camp. I never want to promote camping, but it is good in certain situations. So make sure you guys use it. One way you can use it is hop up here. You can actually see down into this basement of this building, which is really useful. And then also, you can use it the other way. How do you ask? One way is you can hop up here on the bar. 
and then you can kind of creep your way over and boom, you can lean your way around this corner and see over into that mining shaft where like the search and destroy bombs are and stuff like that. So that's really useful. Or if you don't want to lean, then you can also just come down to the end of the bar, just hop up right like this and boom, again, you can see down the entire thing. So uh, again, don't camp guys, please. I don't want to promote camping, but in certain situations, search and destroy and stuff, I use that all the time. It's actually very useful. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's pretty much all I've got to show you guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I got a bunch of great videos coming soon. So stay tuned for more tips and tricks and all kinds of other stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you all later. Peace out.